Now, clownfish have got a symbiotic relationship with anemones. So both the anemone and the clownfish have an advantage by their relationship. Now, in an aquarium like this, adding an anemone is very risky because if it goes through your power head, it'll churn up into thousands of pieces and kill all your fish. So people tend not to go for anemones in beautiful display tanks like this because of the risk. Now, sometimes your clownfish decides to treat a coral as an anemone. So in this case, the clownfish has been swimming around in this leather coral. Sometimes they swim around in the hammer corals or they swim around in various corals. And now this is not a symbiotic relationship. Sometimes there's nothing you can do about it because that's just what the clownfish is doing. But it is not beneficial to the coral. It will irritate the coral. It will cause the coral to regularly close. Um, and it could even cause the demise of the coral. So just be aware that if your corals are getting hosted in by the clownfish like an anemone, it is often at the detriment of the coral itself. So you just need to make a decision. One is allow natural selection, let nature do its thing, or you need to separate them. Otherwise, the um, coral may suffer as a result of that activity, disruptive activity.